everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is Addie and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my perfect ribeye and also how I make my Japanese sweet potato grilled and steamed broccolini using the Insta Pot. let's get to it so to begin we're going to start with um, one third cup of brown sugar where does it go brown sugar and I'm making um, an excess amount so that I can can it later and just like use it on my steak on my ribs or whatever chicken whatever I want to put a rub on and season real quick I'm going to save this for later use so we're making an excess amount alrighty so brown sugar next um, two teaspoon of salt okay Cameroonian pepper or black pepper. So I'm going to put one. Actually, knowing me, I'm gonna put two tablespoons because I like my food spicy. But one tablespoon is fine. So just two tablespoons for me. I'm going to put one tablespoon of paprika. One teaspoon of roasted garlic powder. One tablespoon of onion powder. Okay. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're going to use some celery seeds here. And we're going to also use half a teaspoon of celery seeds. And then I'm going to um, put a little bit of cumin in here, just a sprinkle. And I'm gonna put some pepper flakes. I'm gonna put about one tablespoon of pepper flake in here. Um, okay. Or maybe a lot. Okay. Just don't put a lot in here. Now that I have it all mixed up, I'm going to put it in my little jar. So to make my steak, I already have my seasoning right here. I am going to be using garlic. I actually am using frozen garlic, already peeled. It's best to use um, fresh garlic, but I'm going to use frozen because that's what I got. I'm going to be using some fresh rosemary and fresh thyme, olive oil, butter, and that's all I need for my steak. Okay? Alright, so, yeah? Yeah? Okay, awesome. So, first of all, I am going to start with my rub. I really don't trim the fat off because I want that to um, melt in the pot and give me the aroma. I'm gonna just press this in there. I make sure that this steak is really dry because I'm really going for a dry rub. So the steak is pretty dry, I'm just gonna press it in there and allow it to marinate. I already marinated some earlier so we can get right to cooking. But for the sake of this video in my tutorial, I want to make sure that I'm marinating. A little bit of olive oil, just a little drizzle. Let's wait this pan. So I am going for like a medium well. Personally, I don't do well done because it's just an abomination. So I'm going for medium well and I'm going to grill it on each side for about three minutes or so um, and set it aside let it cool and then we can start like get us the fun stuff with the butter and the rosemary and the garlic and all that fun shit while that's going on over here i am going to take my broccolini that i was going to um steam and just kind of cut it up a little bit you know, we got to multitask, man. Yo, nobody got time. So I'm gonna cut it. 
it's the left of me, y'all. The left of me, I would have like started the fuck out of this. But on top weight loss, on top trying to get hot girls in my body for next year, the city is steaming fucking broccoli, yo. Okay. But you know what? It's okay. It's not everyday fried things. Okay, so this is good on this side. I'm gonna just get the next side. So look at that. Beauty. So what I've done so far guys, for you guys have seen all the <laughs> behind the scenes shit that I cut out. Okay, mm, English. <clears throat> so what I've done so far is I put in my butter, um, I took my stick off um, the pot and I'm going to put in my garlic and my rosemary and my thyme. Should have been this earlier but it's all good. Put it, put one in here, and then thyme. Just two bunches is fine, not too much thyme. Um, I'm using about three bunches of thyme. This one fell, so maybe a fourth one, and that makes it. And pat dry. That smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, it's gonna make some smell fresh thyme. That smells really, really good. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna let it get a little bit. This in here. Let the flavor release a little bit. I'm actually gonna put more butter in here. Because I need the butter. Oh, broccoli's almost done. Where's my butter? I'm gonna put more butter in here because I need the butter to over the sticks. I'm gonna put like another big stick in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, the bark is done. I'm gonna set it aside and let it cool down. Okay. We are almost ready to put our steak back in here. Okay. I'm gonna take this aside. Look at all that juice from that steak. I'm gonna need that later. Just so gonna put this back in. I'm gonna take a spoon and just pour all this on top of here. And just let it cook in this butter, right? Okay. This favorite. Um, Ingredient is garlic. So I'm going to put some garlic in the butter. In the butter. Jesus. English is a lost that language. So, I'm going to leave the garlic in the butter. And that's some more. Okay, while this is cooking, I'm going to prep my potatoes so that I can show you guys what's next. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this has been cut up. I'm going to dry them. I'm going to just try and dry this because I'm going to take this off the um, fire soon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that butter to roast this um, potato because I have such good flavor and good um, aroma going on in here. And I'm going to transfer the same flavor into this sweet potatoes and just roast them. And then once I get a good crispy exterior, I'm going to finish it up in the oven. Finish up. Look at that steak. I'm going to put this to the side so that it can rest. I know, Shalawa, you're not here. Hey, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mm. I cut your ass. I told you to come earlier, but mm, you want to study. Well, you're studying. Look at this. We can we can use the same pot, the same um, plate. I'm not gonna use it for anything else. It's trash at this point. Um, or if you want the garlic, 
you can mash it together and make mashed potato like um, garlic mashed potato it's going to taste so freaking good so if you take this garlic that you have here mash it like puree it, and then you make a mashed potato and put it in there oh, to die for I'm going to take this potatoes face facing down okay facing down Alright, so this potato, so look at how it changed color to like a yellow, like a pale yellow. I'm going to take my spatula, where's my spatula? Look what we have here, right, crispy exterior. I'm going to flip it to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. It's brown and really good, really, really well. Take my oven and preheat it. So now we're getting a nice golden brown going on over here. And the next thing I'm gonna do, sorry guys, it kind of, um, I didn't know that there was a limit to another one. No, 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 it's the same video. No, I didn't know that there was a limit to how much videos you can, I mean, how much time you can go live for. Um, I guess at 33 minutes, it kind of shuts off. So that's what happened, sorry guys. So I'm gonna take this and put it on here. It's not quite done. And I'm going to just oven roast the rest of the way because ain't nobody got time to be sitting here waiting for this to get done while it cooks in butter. All right guys, so the potatoes are in the oven. And the next thing I'm going to do is take it out. It's going to be golden um, brown because I want it to be real done and sweet and crunchy. I'm going to play with my broccolinis that I steamed earlier and my steak. Okay, here is the result of our tutorial today. All right, guys, so I have Shalua on FaceTime. We're talking about my life that I just did. And apparently I did good. So thank you so much for watching my video and bear with me while we went through this live. We actually, I put it to her, she said we walked faster than, I walked faster than I normally would have. Because normally, it would take me three hours to make a video, you know, so I make sure I get every single part. Because we're live, everything was going back quick. My kitchen is an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster. But we're going to clean that in the morning because it's 10 o'clock and I'm tired. But I'm going to put all the food away and clean it in the morning. Because fuck it. Okay? So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you guys later. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Turn on your notification. And follow me on social media. Follow me on IG so that you will know when my life is. It was interactive. It was fun. We had people call in. They were asking questions. We were acting silly. We talk, we'll talk about keto and what's not keto. And everything that I cook was not keto. But we're going to pretend that it is. Because, you know, mind your business. I told y'all. When you see me cook something that's not healthy. Mind your motherfucking business. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.